Hi, I'm Jason Stahl along with Nadine Bata, and we are counting down the top 10 news stories of 2023. As usual, there was plenty of news to go around in the collision repair industry, the most popular having to do with insurance companies misbehaving. Hmm. So let's dive into the top 10 news stories of 2023. Number 10 is NABC donates recycled ride to Arizona woman. The National Auto Body Council, along with GEICO and Painters Collision Centers, donated a refurbished vehicle via the NABC's Recycled Rides program to deserving Scottsdale, Arizona resident to provide her independence and the ability to work and take care of her family. Number nine is auto care industry expected to grow 8.1% in 2023. The Auto Care Association's 2024 Auto Care Factbook predicted that the automotive aftermarket would grow substantially in 2023 by 8.1%, followed by steady and sustainable growth from 2024 to 2026 to the tune of 3.5 to 4%. Number eight is LKQ enters into definitive agreement to acquire Uniselect. LKQ Corporation and Uniselect Inc. announced that they entered into a definitive agreement for LKQ to acquire all of Uniselect's issued and outstanding shares for $48 per share Canadian in cash, representing a total enterprise value of approximately $2.1 billion U.S. dollars. Number seven is Crash Network releases results of insurer report card. Crash Network released the results of its latest insurance report card, with results showing that only one of the 10 largest auto insurers in the country, American Family, scored higher than the national average score to earn a C-plus or better grade, while Allstate earned the lowest grade among the 10 largest insurers with a D-plus. Number six is GM to invest $20.5 million to prepare for EVs. General Motors announced plans to invest $20.5 million across three of its customer care and after-sales parts distribution centers located in Memphis, Tennessee, Ypsilanti, Michigan, and Burton, Michigan to implement a variety of automation technology to modernize warehouse operations as GM prepared for industry growth and electric vehicle readiness. Number five is Washington DOI to address historic increase in complaints. Washingtonians were filing complaints about their auto and homeowners insurance issues at a record pace, and complaints involving auto insurance were responsible for most of the rise, with the majority of the auto insurance complaints revolving around how and how fast claims are handled. Number four is State Farm hit with a class action over luxury vehicle repairs. A class action lawsuit was filed against State Farm accusing them of short-paying policyholders with high-value luxury vehicles. We're down to the top three news stories of 2023. I can barely hold it in. Are you ready, Jason? I am ready. Let's do it. Here we go. Number three is Maryland passes new calibration law. The Maryland State Legislature passed Senate Bill 793, establishing consumer protections related to the repair or replacement of glass on motor vehicles equipped with ADOS. Number two is Fox 19 spotlights Cincinnati shop owners beef with Allstate. Fox 19 Now covered a Western Hills body shop owner's dispute with Allstate, asking him why he posted a sign in front of the shop stating, Allstate insurance claims are not accepted at this time. Ask our customers why. And the number one news story of 2023 is, drum roll please. Texas jury awards State Farm policyholder $277,000. A Texas jury gave State Farm a quarter million reasons to be a better neighbor to its policyholders when a Russ County District Court found the insurance giant had knowingly or intentionally engaged in unfair and deceptive acts or practices in Joseph Wayne Collins for State Farm Mutual Automobile Insurance Company. So there you have it. That's a wrap for our 2023 Year in Review series. And here's to a prosperous 2024 filled with more exciting news.